Okay, I'm not gonna comment too much on colors and I'm gonna talk comment on the values now. That's it. All right. So basically right now, I think um so far it's actually looking pretty good. Um I would say right now, um for you at least, you're getting really nice clean strokes. One thing that I would say is start focusing more on the in-betweens, like the, the mid-tones, like the darker mid-tones, especially. Like, let's say if I were to grab this brush, right? Oh, okay. It's in. Yeah, so let's say, like, you know, if I were to kind of get something that's, like, a little darker, right? Maybe. Notice what's happening right here. Notice how I'm just kind of building this out just a little bit more. Like, so introducing some aspects of this mid-tone. See what I'm saying, right? Um, and I'm also introducing some blues in here because right now there's a lot of yellows. There's like reds, so I'm introducing like a blue mid-tone in between. That's what will kind of help get it into this section right here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna get this out once more like so. Notice how I'm just kind of playing off of like the midtones right here too, right? And then here too, we have like this light. Okay, so over here, we basically have like this light. Um, oh, well, hold up. Oh my God. Yeah. Just saw some behind the scenes of Marvel Snap stuff. <laughs> Just got it. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay. So basically, right now, what I'm going to be doing is um, oh, going to like lighten this area up. Um, But I'm utilizing like a light violet on top of this section right here. You see that? Right. And then I can maybe even go in further with like a light yellow on top of just on top of that once more. And notice how by stacking this light yellow on top of like that light violet, it will help balance everything. And now I can even go in for like a light blue maybe. Well, you see that? Notice how this basically helps solidify and calms everything down. Okay. Um, over here, maybe go in for like a dark brown, right? Just this area. So over here as well. So and yeah, so hopefully you can see. Let's do it before and after real quick. Do you see like the value areas of values that I'm playing off of right now? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because we're missing the mid -tones. You have the dark, you have the lights, but now we have to like get the in. And notice the difference just getting the in-betweens will make. And at the same time, I'm not only getting the in-betweens, I'm fixing the drawing as well. Okay, and basically right here too, right? Like, you know, we have like this orange and yellow kind of situation right here. That's cool and all, but I think we can like shift it maybe into like a violet too. Right, so perhaps like even a lighter violet that's like gearing more towards like a red-blue situation. You see what's happening here? Okay. Then on top of that, maybe we can get into like a yellow green situation on top of this. Notice the difference, even though I didn't really change the values. Right. Maybe I can even like introduce some more aspects of that yellow. But do you see the difference that it's like just kind of creating over here? Yeah. Uh, so that's like one thing that I would watch out for. Here, we're getting a little too colorful, especially here. Like, we can definitely dilute this a lot more. So let's say if I were to like, just dilute this in terms of chroma, you know, like, mellow that out. Because we have such high chroma here, you know, so I want to dilute it. So then, like, that orange and that red really jumps out, right? And then I can even just kind of go in and just kind of calm this entire area down, you know? all good no worries um but yeah you see what i'm doing right here yeah notice what happens as soon as i just like darken it as well as like flattening the values see the difference yeah 
here too it's getting a little too blue like this is like pure blue look it's like where do you see like the color swatch here we're like very much in the middle of that pure blue right so we got to like adjust that a little bit um i mean we could still stay in the blue but what if we were to just like desaturate it a little bit more so let's say if i were to do that see what's happening right But yeah, and this is me just kind of desaturating everything. And in fact, what you can do is also play with value. So let's say I make this area a lot darker over here, right? That way I can kind of have like a dark going into light situation, kind of coming down below like so, and then have this basically be more of a light coming into a dark situation, something like so. You see that in the background, and then we can play around with like just the value aspect of the background as well. You know what I'm saying? So darkening this area, that way, if you wanted to, you can bring in some more chromatic blues. And then those chromatic blues can like bounce off of the orange at the same time. It can also bounce off of like this desaturation right here. Before it was too much. It was too much to focus on to the point where like, you know, nothing was jumping out anymore, right? But notice as soon as I introduce some desaturation here, see what that does to the color? Like notice, like if I were to like, you know, in it, you know, for instance, like here, let's go for like a lighter pure blue, right? Have that go in between that yellow. Notice how that makes a bit more of a difference. Here, like, let's say now if I were to zoom out, do you see how now the color kind of sings a lot more? You see that compared to before? You know what I'm saying? So it's the desaturation that elevates that color, right? If everything is colorful, nothing is colorful. Does that make sense? So yeah, color has to always be propped up on some kind of pedestal. We'll talk a little bit about that today too, because today, um, I don't think I forgot, even though I was super busy with San Diego, San Diego Comic Con, I still remember your request um, last week, we're gonna be doing an environment today. And it's not just an environment, it's not a, not a boring environment, not, my, not by a long shot. You'll see exactly what I mean later. See exactly what I mean later. Um, but that's the like the last request because like after this um I, I have to do, like every commission I, I mean every demo I have to start, start doing my commissions because <laughs> I got like twenty things I gotta do. But anyways, uh, does this uh make sense so far? Yeah, on uh, what I did here. Yeah, and then you know you know for instance now now like I can kind of go in here right and let's say oh well I have blue here you know I have a blue maybe I can go back in with like a with like a with like a yellow right here right right. And then notice that yellow already like immediately helps jump that out, right? And then after that, maybe I can have like a bit of pink right here that goes into that blue. I'm just gonna do this. Look, I'm just I'm notice how I'm literally just painting with like little little rounds, like little <laughs> like little you know like graphic rounds. But do you see the difference that makes in terms of you know? And then if you really wanted to make like a like a like a highlight on top of that. And we can, okay, then we have reds, we have yellows. The blues is there, but then it's like blue, red, yellow. So what does that mean? It means we can go back to a blue, right? Maybe a smaller blue, maybe a smaller blue that's a little lighter. So do you see the difference that that's making? Or going into, so, all right. And now notice that how that kind of creates a sense. It's like notice how when I zoom out, right? You know, that's kind of a, you know, you can kind of see everything kind of coming together. I mean, if it's like close up, then of course it's like more of just like a, a graphic kind of a blocking, right? But hopefully this shows you just how easy it is for us to manipulate colors and create the visual illusion of something that's like, um, you know, glowing or whatever, or something that has a little bit more nuances within value shifts. Make sense? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you have a good foundation. You just aren't laying in anything other than just like the base foundation. So just lay in more things, right? You know, do it one last time. Hmm? You add, I mean, you ask yourself, what 
colors do I already have, right? So let's say if I'm looking at this color that you have, you have a perfect, this is basically like a blue with a bit of red, right? So you have blue as your predominant color, and then you have red that's kind of amping that blue into the purple territory, right? So then what, what color is missing in the basic primary colors? Exactly. So you introduce yellow or green. Green if you want to like um, dilute that into, uh, uh, if you want to dilute um, the values and like, you know, decrease the value. And yellow if you only want to just dilute the chroma. That kind of makes sense? Yeah. Green or yellow. Add yellow if you don't want to darken the values. Add green if you want to darken the values. That kind of makes sense? Yeah. you can do whatever i mean you could just try it out right because like, at the end of the day the most important thing is just thinking red yellow and blue that's it we don't have to worry about anything else if you just trust and believe and trust in red yellow and blue it will take you to wherever you need to go is that gonna make sense like you won't ever have to worry about like oh complimentary or whatever i don't even know what that means like when you ask me complimentary i'm like i never learned that i don't know like all i know is like red yellow and blue but hopefully that kind of gives you an idea like it shows you that you don't need to know that much in order to do this in order to make it effect like this you know yeah like here this is like me taking away your painting these are like some of the adjustments that i made here so hopefully this gives you some ideas what what adjustments basically midtones right desaturation here right desaturation of the background and adding some blues you see this adding some blues within this midtone here it's because you know if we were to look at it this desatur this blue is going to help balance and bridge the desaturation of the background towards the saturation of the red yellow here right makes sense and that way you're constantly working with red yellow and blue constantly okay